you know, when you're reading an affidavit, you're also looking for kind of characteristics of kind of the personalities. What do they think? And this document, even just the parts we have, just reveals that the FBI, the Justice Department, think that Donald Trump is a, is a liar. The Mar-a-Lago search affidavit is out. It is heavily redacted, yes. But what's been released is enough to tell us why Donald Trump is losing it right now. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm legal analyst Adrian Lawrence. A Florida federal judge has released a redacted version of the affidavit that supported the search of former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home earlier this month. The affidavit is, again, heavily redacted in many places. At the same time, it still tells us a lot about what the former president was up to. And you know he's scared. In fact, within minutes of the redacted document being released in the public, Trump took to true social to rage. He posted this. Affidavit heavily redacted. Nothing mentioned on nuclear. A total public relations subterfuge by the FBI and DOJ or our close working relationship regarding document turnover. We gave them much. Judge Bruce Reinhardt should never have allowed the break-in of my home. He recused himself two months ago from one of my cases based on his animosity and hatred of your former president, me. What changed? Why hasn't he recused himself on this case? Obama must be very proud of him right now. Despite Trump's antics, he and his counsel were well aware that the affidavit would be redacted so as not to compromise the government's ongoing investigation. As DOJ noted in its filing, the materials the government marked for redaction in the attached document must remain sealed to protect the safety and privacy of a significant number of civilian witnesses, in addition to law enforcement personnel as well as to protect the integrity of the ongoing investigation and to avoid disclosure of grand jury material in violation of the federal rules of criminal procedure. Given that Trump's MAGA minions have already threatened the safety and well-being of the judge and FBI agents involved in the investigation, the court has good reason not to release the entire affidavit. Now to the document itself. The affidavit may be highly redacted, yes, but what's not concealed tells us much about Trump's angle, specifically the 15 boxes that National Archives retrieved from Mar-a-Lago back in February. Per the affidavit, from May 16th through 18th, 2022, FBI agents conducted a preliminary review of the 15 boxes provided to National Archives and identified documents with classification markings in 14 of the 15 boxes. A preliminary triage of the documents with classification markings revealed the following approximate numbers. 184 unique documents bearing classification markings, including 67 documents marked as confidential. 92 documents marked as secret and 25 documents marked as top secret. Let's pause for processing. This means that Trump had some 184 classified documents unlawfully in his possession that National Archives had to wrestle back from the former president. What type of classified documents were these? Let's continue. Further, the FBI agents observed markings reflecting the following compartments, dissemination controls, HCS, FISA, ORCON, N-O-F-O-R-N-N-S-I. Based on my training and experience, I know that documents classified at these levels typically contain NDI. All right, so HCS refers to human clandestine sources, commonly known as human intelligence, said another way, spy stuff. FISA refers to what the feds got under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, basically foreign intel. ORCON, originator controlled info, meaning that the creator of the document must approve who it's being shared with. No foreign is self-explanatory as it refers to not releasable to foreign nationals, governments, or non-U.S. citizens without the creator's approval. And SI is special intelligence. It's often seen along SCI, special compartmented intelligence. Basically, SI is intel gathered from intercepted communications. All said, the documents National Archives retrieved from Trump earlier this year were BFD. And even aside from the mole, it's evident from the affidavit that the feds had good reason to at least suspect that Trump still had more classified documents, largely because of his lawyer's May 25th letter. And it was provided as an exhibit to the affidavit. In that letter, Trump's attorneys claim that classified documents were unknowingly included among the boxes brought to Mar-a-Lago by the movers. They also proactively assert the defense that a president has absolute authority to declassify documents. Why is that even relevant if the classified documents were accidentally included in the moving boxes unbeknownst to the president and, hey, they had all been returned to National Archives by that point? To me, the extra effort by Trump's attorneys really seemed to scream, my client believes he's entitled to the classified documents and he's got more. But what do you think? You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.